In this research, we are analyzing the urban built environment using tools from deep learning and remote sensing data, in particular cheaply obtainable satellite imagery. This work is done at MIT in collaboration with Philips Lighting Research. In this work, we focus on a key type of survey data that is important for understanding cities, land use specification. This is a key input to urban planning applications such as zoning and permitting or infrastructure investments. It is traditionally done by experts using disparate data sources such as surveys and tax and desert databases, which may not be available at every city, especially in developing regions. We develop deep learning models to perform land use classification using high resolution, cheaply obtainable satellite imagery at a large scale. Using our models, we are able to analyze and compare urban environments in a more continuous spectrum of visual appearance than that provided by the discrete land use class. For this, we build on the emergence of remote observation data on urban areas at a much higher coverage, spatial, and temporal resolution that was available in the past. This has been driven by new space companies that have been building and launching fleets of hundreds of cheap, small satellites using, in part, commodity sensors found in smartphones. Another development that makes now a good time to tackle this problem is the emergence in the past several years of powerful deep learning algorithms for vision and of mature open source frameworks for machine learning. For this, we compile a new data set of study urban environments. This data set consists of satellite imagery with their corresponding land use labels. The satellite images have been obtained from the Google Maps API. The labels have been obtained from Urban Atlas, a large-scale land use survey by the European Union of over 300 cities in Europe. To train our classifier, we use state-of-the-art convolution architecture. The model will take an input, a satellite image, and compute the probability distribution over 10 land use classes, high density urban fabric, airports, agricultural land, and so on. The first validation exercise and output from this model is generating land use maps from satellite imagery for a few different cities. If we have a model that can replicate this high level organization of urban form, then we can have confidence and understand the visual characteristics of urban environments that are important for the expert judgment of urban planning. One key question we ask in this work is whether learning transfers across geographical locations. That is, can we train a model from data in one city and predict on another? We find that some cities are more similar than others and quantify these similarities at the city and neighborhood levels. To uncover the continuous nature of urban environments, we project the feature vectors extracted from images of urban neighborhoods across the six cities onto a lower dimensional embedding. This highlights how urban environments that are formally assigned certain classes are either separate, as in the case of water bodies, or they group together in a continuous fashion. Now that we have trained models of urban environments, we can use them in applications. We are currently developing a search engine for urban environments. Given a query environment, our model can identify similar neighborhoods across cities that have similar characteristics. This will enable applications such as benchmarking the built environment for urban planning or building energy analysis. More information is in the paper and at our GitHub repository for the project.